coming from Mississippi, going to Alabama was not uh, a big stretch. My uncle went to Tuskegee University. He knew that I was interested in engineering and he offered to take me over to Tuskegee and see it out. I went on a, a college tour of Tuskegee and I said, I can't wait to, to go back and go to college there. It was the history. The aerospace engineering department is in Chappie Jane's Center and it just a, a lot of the Tuskegee Airmen, all the history being there. So going to Tuskegee, going into their aerospace engineering program, going out to Moton Field, seeing where history was made and knowing that I'm walking in a lot of people's footsteps. I don't want to let anyone down knowing that all the sacrifice that was put in just for me to get here. I was put into the aerospace program and just being there, I knew that's where I wanted to be, being around other aerospace engineers. And then I saw this flyer saying that there's this office in Washington, D.C., the Office of Commercial Space Transportation. Took an internship there, was a part of the HBCU internship program. And while I was there, there was Spaceship One that just launched from uh, Mojave and I didn't look back. I, I wanted to work in the FA and that's where I, I started my career and I've been here ever since. I am the supervising manager for the Safety Assurance Division in the Office of Commercial Space Transportation. We're actually out in the hangar where the rockets are that are going to be launched later either that week, that day. Our division is the division that get an opportunity to go see those operations. We need young engineers that are enthusiastic about rocketry, lunar lander, going to Mars. All these new aspects is going to happen here in the Office of Commercial Space Transportation. So if you like those opportunities, if you want to be a part of something like that, we would love to have you on board.